All right, so we're going to be doing perimeter and circumference next. So perimeter is a distance around a two-dimensional figure. So here we have um, a quadrilateral, and so we're going to find the perimeter around it. So all we have to do is um, add up all the sides. So this is 10, so our perimeter is equal to 10, plus this one's 8.8, .8 plus 6.7. Plus, and then this piece is 9.4. And we go ahead and add it all up, and that gives us a total of 34.9. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Oh, meters. Meters is our units. Don't forget your units. Okay, on the next one, here we have, um, this is 30. So our perimeter is equal to 30. Plus, this piece is 100. Plus, this piece is 53. Plus, this piece is 61. Plus, this little section, we don't know what it is, so we're going to have to figure it out. So, if this whole thing is 53, and then from here to here, it's 30. So, 30 plus what is going to give us 53? Well, 30 plus 23 would give us 53. So, that means that this piece is 23. Plus, and now I'm missing this section right here. So if the whole thing is 100 and from here to here is 61, we're going to see 61 plus what is going to give us 100. So we do 100 minus 61 and that gives us 39. So this missing section is 39. And we go ahead and add them all up. 30 plus 100 plus 53 plus 61 plus 23. Plus 39 gives us a total of 306. So we write the units here, we have meters. Okay, this next one, number three. Um, let's see, this is eight. These are some fractions. I know you guys don't really like fractions, so we're gonna go ahead and write them as a decimal. So this is 10, so we're gonna do perimeter equals 10. Plus, this is six and a half, so six and a half as a decimal is 6.5. Plus, this is three and a half, so three and a half as a decimal is 3.5. Plus, this as a decimal, two and a half is 2.5. Plus, this is four and one quarter, so four and one quarter would be 4.25. Plus, this is four and a half, so that would be 4.5. Plus, this is two and one quarter, so 2.25. Plus, eight. This section is eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine has a total of nine sides. So I'm just gonna double check to make sure I have nine numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I count something wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, eight sides. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're good. Ten plus six point five plus three point five plus two point five plus 4.25. Plus 4.5 plus 2.25 plus 8 gives us a total of 41. And our units here, this one doesn't have units, so we're just going to put a U for units. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the next one. So it says calculate the perimeter of each figure as an algebraic expression. So the reason this is an algebraic expression is because we do not know what these variables are. So here we have two x's, okay, one x, two x, so we write two x plus, then we see how many y's we have. So that's one, two, three, and four. So we have four y's plus, here we have z plus z gives us two z. And that's it for that one. We can't combine these because they are not like terms. Okay, let's look at the next one. So I'm gonna go in alphabetical order. So A's, we have two A's plus, let's see how many B's we have. We have two B's plus, let's see how many C's we have. We have one, two, two C's plus, we have one D plus E. And that's it. We cannot simplify this. We can't add them together because they're not like terms. They're all different variables. All right, circumference. Circumference is a distance around a circle. So circle equals two pi r or circle, I mean circle. Circumference equals pi times d, your diameter. So it says here, calculate the circumference of each circle. So it tells us here, 
the diameter. So because they give us the diameter, we're going to have to use C equals pi D. Okay, so the diameter of a circle is 16 centimeters. So that means D equals 16. Find its circumference in terms of pi. So circumference is equal to pi times 16. And since they want it in terms of pi, we are going to write it like this. 16 pi, the coefficient, the number goes in the front. And then we write our units. So 16 pi centimeters. So that's all we got to do for that one. All right, let's try the next one. This one says the radius of a circle is two. So this time they give us the radius. So since they give us the radius, we need to use C equals two pi R. And in this case, our radius is two centimeters, okay? They want us to find the circumference in terms of pi. So that means we don't multiply it times the pi. Um, we just leave it like that. So two times pi times two. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and multiply the two numbers. So 2 times 2 gives us 4 pi. Okay, we just leave it there. And then our units are centimeters. And that's it. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next one. It says the diameter of a circle is 6 centimeters. So the diameter of the circle is 6 centimeters. So that means we're going to use C equals pi times D, and our diameter is 6 centimeters. Now, this time they want us to find the circumference to the nearest tenth. So our circumference is equal to pi times 6. But since they want us to the nearest tenth, we're going to go ahead and plug in our calculators. We're going to put pi times 6. Now, we don't use 3.14. You have to use the actual pi button if you have it. It's more accurate. So... <clears throat> this gives us 18.849, but they want us to round to the nearest 10. So that means that it's going to round as 0.8 because the 4 doesn't make the 8 go up anymore. And our units here are centimeters. Okay, the next one. The radius of a circle is 13 pi. So since they give us the radius, it is going to be C equals 2 pi r which is the formula that we're gonna to have to use because they give us the radius that's equal to 13 centimeters. And then we plug it in. So C equals two pi <clears throat> times 13. And two times pi times 13, we go ahead and plug that into our calculators and that gives us 81.68 and our units are centimeters. But they want us to round to the nearest tenth. So this six is going to have to round up because of the eight. So 0.7 centimeters. All right, the next one, circumference level two. So the circumference of a circle is four pi. Find its radius in meters. So this one is a little bit, or uh, we're kind of working backwards. So here they want us to find the radius. So that means that we're going to have to use the formula C equals 2 pi r. Okay. Then they tell us the circumference of the circle is 4 pi. So instead of C, we are going to plug in 4 pi. So here I'm going to put 4 pi equals 2 pi r. And we're going to solve for the radius. So we need to cancel out the 2 and the pi. And since they're multiplying with each other, we're going to do the opposite and divide. The twos cancel out here, the pi's cancel out, and we're just left with radius on the right side. And then you do four divided by two gives you two, and these pi's cancel out. So that means that our radius is equal to two. And the units here, they tell us in meters, so two meters. Okay, the next example, they tell us the circumference of a circle is six pi, find its diameter. So since they want us to find its diameter in centimeters, we're going to have to use the formula C equals pi times D. Um, they do tell us that the circumference is 6 pi. And since the circumference is 6 pi, instead of C, we're going to plug in 6 pi. Now we're solving for the diameter, so we're going to have to divide by the pi to cancel it out because it's being multiplied with the D. And we get the diameter equals... These pi's cancel each other out, so diameter is equal to 6. So D equals 6 centimeters. Okay. 
Now here, it says um, we're doing perimeter of irregular shapes, so just not normal shapes. Um, find the perimeter of the figure below composed of a parallelogram and one semicircle round to the nearest tenths place. Okay, so this is four centimeters. So for the perimeter, it's going to be four plus this is two centimeters. So we're going to put two plus from here to here, since this is a parallelogram, these two sides should be exactly the same. So then this should also be four plus this is a semicircle. So we're going to have to find how much that half a circle is, okay? Um, since this is two, that means that the diameter of our semicircle is also two. So I'm going to write here C equals pi D. But since we have half a circle, we do have to divide that by two. Okay, so then here circumference equals our diameter we know is two. So pi times two divided by two. So that means that our circumference is equal to just pi because the two is canceled out. So I'm going to put that here. And then they want us to round to the nearest tenths place. So perimeter equals. We're going to go ahead and do 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus pi. And that gives us 13.14, but it would round to 1. And our units are centimeters. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the next example. This one says, find the perimeter of the figure below composed of an isosceles trapezoid and one semicircle. Round to the nearest tenths place. So we're going to go ahead and add these all up. So this is 3. Perimeter equals 3 plus, this is 2.5, plus, we don't know what this semicircle is, so I'm going to leave a little space. We're going to have to find it. Plus, this side over here, since this is a nice isosceles trapezoid, that means that these two sides are the same. So that is 2.5. Okay, next, we're going to look for the circumference of this half circle. So circumference equals pi times d, and then it's going to have to two because <clears throat> it's half a circle it's not the full circumference it's only half so c equals pi our diameter is 1.5 divided by 2. so if we take the 1.5 and divide it by 2 that gives us 0.75 right, so that's what i'm going to fill in here the missing piece and we go ahead and put it in our calculators um and that gives us a total of 10.35, but that is going to round as 10.4 centimeters. And that's pretty much it. Thank you, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow.